So we're back on track now, folks. As uh, <laughs> see the Sam Nudick machine heading out. We've just been told that uh, Ruben Hoxima has got a, a crack in the manifold, so they have shot into Hamilton to pick up a welder. So that's commitment. So I dare say, Tony, we won't see him out on the uh, on the track for this round. But uh, have a look at Sam Nudick and uh, Sharma Kutranui as they are out on the track now. And uh, of course, the both world class as they head down the back of the track. Oh, nice tight line. Took it a little bit too wide for his liking, but a lovely line coming through the bottom of that. Mudik out on track at the moment. Well, he is putting in a good one here for qualifying round number four. Really picked up the pace. Obviously, very confident in this engine package that they've had so much trouble with. All oh, really squared that one up a little bit. But Sam Mudik, have a look at this for a cracker. 41.830, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's getting closer, KB. It's getting closer. But that's a great drive from Sam Mudik. Really puts the pressure on. Uh, we, we find this quite a bit. You know, we get these drivers that uh, certainly when it gets to the uh, the top nine, the top six, and they choose where to go, really puts the pressure on the, uh, the pace now. So, you know, the, these guys are going to have to put the foot down to get on that one. Yeah, no doubt about that. Kyle Patrick uh, due out on the water in just a few minutes. So, uh, Darren Todd. So, Kyle Patrick, Darren Todd will be the next superboat out onto the water. The unlimited category now. The first three runs that we've seen Kyle Patrick do into the bottom part of the course, what we're calling Lucas Oils down there, really has run way, way too deep. So uh, let's hope that we don't see that again because uh, otherwise he's been driving pretty good down there. A lot of spray comes off the bow of this Stinger boat, the twin turbo. The man from Albany in Oregon, the CEO of Positive Electric Company, and Darren Todd, the manager at Vickers Aircraft. Away they go. We'll be keeping a very close eye on this one. Kyle Patrick, of course, multiple US champion. Here we go, Here we go folks. What's he going to do? Oh, he's done it again. It again. <laughs> That's four from four. I don't oh. know. Do you think he just can't see it? We'll try and catch up with him in the lunch break, folks, and come back to you for call five about exactly what the problem is. He might just like that tight line cave as he bounces through the middle of the course here. Yeah, look, it's uh, very frightening. And during after qualifying two, he said he ran it too wide. Qualifying three, he ran it really wide. That time he brought it back a little bit. But uh, for mine, it just puts the heart straight into the mouth. But uh, otherwise, a very good-looking run as they oh. just head for the line. And a 44.946, 44.946 for Kyle Patrick and Darren Todd. Lost a couple of seconds too, I think, K as he bounced through this last um, this last turn that's starting to really cause these uh, these bigger boats some uh, some attrition, I'll tell you. But, yeah, no, he's just, what's the deal with him? Going wide on that bend, he just can't get it out, just can't shake it. Maybe we need to move that orange cone and put it up there so we can actually see where the tie wall is. <laughs> yeah, not too sure. But uh, maybe that's the maybe that's the plan. Maybe running wide, as we said earlier, there's no real true apexes here. Uh, different lines are gonna get you quicker results depending on the style of boat, depending on the setup. So uh, maybe Kyle Patrick just doing that. But uh, now we have Scotty Donald sitting down on the ramp as well as a reigning New Zealand champion, Glenn Head. Scotty Donald, of course, leading the championship with Nicole Reesby. So I don't know if you picked up on that, Cavey, but uh, Ruben Hoxheim has got a crack in the manifold uh, and he's actually shot up to Hamilton to get a welder. So he doesn't want to be out, thinks he can fix it in time. Of course, he knows he's got the lunch break to, to soak up a bit yep. of time. So we won't see him on the ramp for this one course, but uh, should be back out for Qual 5, all things going well. Do you tell you, these guys, uh, you know, quick shoot down there, get this, get that. It's just amazing how all this seems to come together. And I've seen uh, in various aspects of jet spreading right around the world. We've seen some amazing thing happen, particularly in World Series. Engines are blown up day one. They'll shoot them back down to Melbourne. We'll take them wherever it might be, rebuild them overnight, send them back up there. And um, 
the, the competitive nature of all of these guys and girls involved in the sport is ast astronomical. It really just, is. It's one big family. It's what I've noticed, KV, uh, you know, as we uh, we follow a, a couple of boat races around, the, the family, the whole family atmosphere is uh, is fantastic. So it's really good to see that, um, you know, the uh, everyone gets in behind each other and it's just one big happy family. Yes, yeah, certainly, as we're just waiting for uh, Scotty Donald to get the fire in the belly of the Wicked 2 machine. The uh, methanol just going down the trumpets there. Not sure if you're uh, picking that up on the live stream, but some great work from our cameraman on the bow of the boat there. Just picking up the reaction now of Scotty Donald to Cole Reesby just handing the umbrella out. I think she'd have to have some... Uh, Fairly strong arms there, it's a bit, little bit breezy, it's, uh, that umbrella could be turned inside out or she could be uh, sent down the road a bit like Mary Poppins. I was just going to say mate, that would be Lou would look a bit like Mary Poppins mate. The, of course our, uh, our lady that uh, looks after the ramp for us, she does a fine job down there, does it young Lou and of course uh, Pete her better half is standing out in the middle of the track doing absolutely nothing. So. Uh, you know, she always does all the work and he just takes the glory. So, uh, no, she does a fine job, as do all of our uh, our crew. So, a little bit of a hold up with the Wicked 2 machine. Just don't quite, uh, can't get it off. Uh, and Tony's not down there, so they must have unhooked it okay. Because last time it was sort of, uh, you know, he, when Tony was in charge, our good mate here, uh, my roommate actually, uh, left the, uh, the hook on the boat. And then they wondered why they couldn't get it off the trailer. Simple mistake to make, I know, you might think. But uh, in the heat of the moment. That's uh, you know usually one of the last things you check. So, but uh, they just seem to be uh, winding that up. Yeah, just waiting for the uh, the heat to come out of the uh, the water to heat up through the engine, making sure the engine's right up to temperature. So that was what they were just uh, waiting for there. Scotty Donald, Nicole Reesby now being pushed off the trailer, so the uh, where the water comes in and he's pumped to the outside of the boat. The mechanic was just down there running his hands there, just waiting for that water temperature to change, make sure the uh, engine's up to speed, up the spec, up the temperature. Look for the uh, acceleration off the chute. As soon as they get that green light, of course the time uh, that they're looking to post uh, to beat here is a 41.830 set by Sam Newdick. So uh, they'll want to uh, get up there. Of course, they're currently leading the championship so uh, they want to put in another good performance and then go and kick their feet up, have a sandwich and, a, and a think about qualifying five before we get into the top nine. Now he'll squeeze it. Will Scotty Donald a lot quicker out of the blocks that time. And so now down to the PSP shoot around Lucas. Come back on himself down here. Scott Donald, that confidence driver, we've talked about it so much this season and in seasons gone by, really just needs to get that confidence right in qualifying one, two and three as far as rotation goes. And then he's on for the day and you would suggest the form that he's producing out here in qualifying round at number four for Mouthfresh Toothpaste is the sort of thing that he needs to have to be able to maintain that confidence is a good run so far. It sure is, Katie. Very impressive indeed as he picks up this absolute no trouble at all as he bounces through there, picks up a 44.416, folks. And uh, he'll, he'll be okay with that. I know it's not uh, it's not going to slot him into uh, the 41 time of, uh, of uh, Sam Newdick, but that's okay. It's uh, still got one round to go before the action happens, so that's all right. So Glen Head now, Eltham Window Systems, Windows to the World, and Lucas Oils and HRE Race Engines. Just waiting for Scotty Donald to come back up onto the trailer and then Lou, our launch controller, will let it go. Great pictures coming through on the live stream of the big screen, if you can see that, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, go to CTAS Live. Dot NZ to check out all the live streaming. Your friends and family can't get down here today, ladies and gentlemen. Text them CTAS Live, C T A S dot NZ for all of the action on the live stream via your computer device. Clean head, Haley Todd, Alfirm Window Systems. This will be good, KV. He's been holding back, I feel. So we'll look to see what he does now as he comes out of the chute, puts the pedal to the middle. Look for some slaughter on the water here, folks, as he goes down the grandstand straight there. Oh, this machine is great, Katie, isn't it? 
Yeah, certainly very well put together uh, vessel because Glen Head has won a world championship, the reigning New Zealand champion, looking pretty good at its moment. Still plenty more for this boat to give, don't worry about that. Lines up that set of shoot probably better than anyone else um, throughout the course of today so far. We had a little bit of a look, need to uh, readjust that positioning of the boat on the race course. Into the final part of the lap now, the reigning New Zealand champion. I don't think we'll go quicker than Sam Munich. Oh, he knifed oh. it into the final corner. And a 42.530 Sam Munich is still quickest. So it was Sam Munich, Glenn Head, Scott Donald and Kyle Patrick from fastest to slowest to wind out qualifying round number four. We are going to take a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll feed our rescue crew, indeed our commentators, our timing staff. You are more than welcome to come into the pit and paddock area, have a chat with the drivers.